What's going on guys? Comes here back again on another MLB 18 Diamond Dynasty video. Today we are going to be talking about some brand new news. But before we get into it, if you guys have not yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Really would mean a lot to me. You guys' support has been insane lately and I cannot thank you guys enough. But coming into the topic today, of course if you missed my video yesterday, you weren't really in the loop. But there is another string of conquest coming. Of course, I broke the news yesterday and now Tips went ahead and tweeted on Twitter and it is official. It will be titled Conquest Destiny. The only information that they said with it is program with legends and flashbacks. Now this is actually really interesting for a lot of reasons and I'll get into those um, but there will not be any other new stuff today which is kind of laughable to me. I mean just personally I think it's insane that Madden comes out in two weeks and in the last two weeks all they put out is an event with a uh, pretty much card that won't start or it, 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 this holiday wouldn't even fit my bench you, you you get the idea the holiday wouldn't even be on my bench and then a roster update two weeks since madden ca has came out and that's all we've gotten insane to me but the thing about this is uh uh one they haven't they didn't really say anything other than uh what it's called and it's going to be released next friday august 24th now, there is still a bunch of questions whether or not you're going to have to have these completed to get to that. I would say probably not consider it. Well, it, it's tough to say because to do Conquest Extreme, you have to finish Conquest Part 1 first. And uh, this is called Conquest Destiny. It's not called Conquest Part 2. So I, I don't think that these are going to be tied with it. It's possible, but I kind of would lean towards the side where I don't think so. But then again, at the same time, I feel if it's not linked to least two, the rewards would probably not be as good. And that's really what's going to make or break this uh, new Conquest string because, of course, a lot of people want new content to be able to compete with the Immortals and Career Arcs because, let's face it, they're not going to release any cards that can compete with the Immortals. And to be honest, they're not releasing any cards that are even comparable to career arcs i mean we're still getting 89 overall event rewards um so it, it, it's gonna be weird i would love to hear your guys's opinion right now let me know down below in the comments would you want them to continue on like would you want it to be a continuation of conquest part one and conquest extreme let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and opinions on if you would want that or not Personally, I haven't done this at all, and honestly, they would have to come out with some insane rewards. They would have to be, like, comparable to these cards for me to spend my time and do that. And one thing that I've really been thinking about, and some of you guys have suggested, and people on Twitter and Reddit as well have suggested, that we could possibly be receiving the Ted Williams Immortal as a Conquest reward. Now, some people might think that's kind of crazy, but I don't really think it is. I mean, if you look, the general consensus of the people, and we all know SDS listens to the people, is we want cards that can compare and compete with the Immortal players because otherwise if they keep putting out cards like 89 Matt Holiday, that, you know, these career arcs that were uh, available day one, these cards are better than... You know we're really not going to be interested uh, with the content and of course we do know there is a ted williams immortal coming we just don't know what for or when now they could definitely save him for a ticket counter or a postseason program in october or november but that's going to be even more months away, which would blow my mind if they waited that long, considering they can see already they're kind of in distress because a lot of people are moving to Madden and a lot of people are getting uninterested with the game. So to me, it would make a lot of sense for them to come out with a really good reward card like Ted Williams. One, it's exciting. Two, people will play it and just all those reasons. But like I said, if it is going to be like a Ted Williams Immortal, I would imagine you would have to play these two first because it would only make sense, you know, it's kind of like going down the road and I, I I wouldn't think that they would have you just go down one string um, just to get a Ted Williams Immortal card based on, for example, this is the only Immortal that isn't an Immortal program and you need, what is it, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, you need 12 uh, uh, Musio autographs or bobbleheads in total, so that's the equivalent of fully completing 4 events 
or I think it would be four ranked seasons getting to World Series. So I would imagine they would make it harder. Uh, they would make it somewhat as difficult to get that as uh, the Musio would be. But that's that's just my guess. Of course, it says Legends and Flashbacks. Of course, if you guys have missed my videos in the past where I went through cards because we all know MLB... They, they have a thing where they usually like to reuse cards, whether that's good or not. I think it's good at a point, but I'm really hoping MLB 19 comes out with a bunch of new flashback cards. Because if, if you look at the cards in this game, other than new legends, like if, let's just look at like, uh, or let's just look at cards in general. Let's just look at cards in the game last year, in the game last year, in the game last year, new legend, pretty much in the game last year, in last year, in last year. Uh, I think Ernie Banks had a card like this in last year, in last year. You get the idea, other than like new legends, we're seeing pretty much the same flashbacks. All of these, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, seven cards were in the game last year, and then guys like uh, this David Wright and Miguel Cabrera both got really nerfed, so I hope in MLB 19 they start adding new flashbacks and new cards that we haven't seen before other than new legends, but uh, if uh, <laughs> that was just a ramble on, but um, if you did miss my videos before where we went back into MLB 17 and looked at some of the cards, you know, there's a hardware Bryce Harper, there's a hardware Josh Donaldson, um, there's like Eddie Murray, he really hasn't gotten a good card. George Brett, I think somebody pointed out in one of my videos. Um, so there's a bunch of guys that you could look at that constitute as legends and flashbacks. Um, personally, there's, there's two, there's two ways this is gonna go, right? There's two ways that they're gonna do this conquest. One way is kind of like how I've been explaining and they're gonna have really good rewards. It's gonna be Ted Williams, it's gonna be... Bryce Harper, it's gonna be George Brett, it's gonna, it's gonna be a grind, it's not gonna be easy, but there's gonna be really good cards to back it up and make you want to grind it, because in the first Conquest Extreme, to be honest with you, the only card that somewhat excites me is this Matt Kemp. This Yadier Molina, I'd rather have my 88 Piazza that I have, and this Brian Dozier, ah, hell, I could make a cat better than this, and he could be a switch hitter. And even my second baseman right now, Jose Ramirez, I take him over Dozier as well. But that's one, that's one way it could go. It could be really good, it, it's hard, but it could be really re rewarding. The other way it could go is it's going to just be 93, 94 overalls that have no power, that nobody would be excited for, and it's still going to be as hard of a grind. There's really two ways that's going to go. You, you would hope that it's going to go the right way that they're gonna add good cards that people want, that people want to use, um, and people are gonna wanna grind for. Because if they don't, nobody's gonna play it, and even more people are gonna get turned off because of things like this where they say there's no update today because they're preparing for it, and then they come out with just a complete letdown. That's, that's just my opinion. There's really two ways it's gonna go. Hopefully, they finally do the right way. Give us cards not only that are high overalls, Look at Madden. Like, come on, look at Madden. Look at, like, they come out with so many Ryan Shaziers, and they come out with Jimmy Grahams, and, like, guys that are good gameplay-wise. Figure that out. There are certain people that people want to use, and there are certain people that people don't want to use. For example, don't give us a, of course it's already out, but do not give us a 93 overall Ozzy Smith with 35 power each ways. Nobody wants that card. Do not give us stuff like that. Give us cards like, uh, I, I don't even know what would be a good example. Like the Harper, cards with good power, uh, fan favorite players, stuff like that that people want to use. Give us a, uh, hell, give us some future stars. Um, give us an Austin Meadows. I'm a Rays fan. Maybe I'd consider grinding Conqua. Actually, probably not. It would have to be an insane Austin Meadows. I mean, uh, Acuna is really good, but he's only a 91, so Austin Meadows would probably be like an 88, so. <laughs> uh, but just give us good cards, cards that we want to use, and make it rewarding. Make the grind rewarding, and people will do it. People will be happy. That's what you want to do, right? Make people happy. And you will make money in the process, I promise. But 
that's pretty much going to do it for this video. Like I said, Conquest Destiny is going to drop next Friday, August 24th. No content update coming out today in MLB. Roster update as well next week and a new event. Hopefully it's a little bit better than this last one. But if you guys did enjoy the video and have any other thoughts and questions and speculation on Conquest Destiny, make sure to leave them down below in the comments. And I hope you guys have great day. today. And there you guys comes out. Yay. Love is love and hate is hate. To die is an awesome adventure and I can hardly wait. Earth is a prison, I need a great escape. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone when I'm up in outer space. You know I'm in my zone. You know I'm in my zone. I took a bite of the glory, I tell you.